We head inland to Turriff, which sits on a plateau above the confluence of the River Deveron and the water of Edach, first mentioned in the 12th century Book of Deer, a market town and famous for the annual Turriff show. Turriff Tackle and Trophies is located on Castle Street. It offers fishing permits on the Deveron, one of the top five salmon rivers in the country, and can also organise casting instruction. The shop itself stocks a wide range of fishing tackle, as well as shooting supplies, such as cartridges, bullets and air guns. They also offer numerous sports trophies, with engraving on the premises. Head across country to Huntley, the capital of the province of Strathbogie. It was laid out by the powerful Gordon family in the 18th century. The town square is a feature of this plan and gives Huntley an air of some importance as a town that has served the rich agricultural hinterland for many generations. The powerful Gordons resided at Huntley Castle, now a ruin and famed for the fine heraldic sculpture and inscribed stone friezes. In 1794, the fourth duke raised the Gordon Highlanders, assisted by his duchess, the famous beauty Jane Maxwell, a leader of London fashion, who placed the king's shilling between her lips to woo recruits with a kiss. Bonnie Jean is still revered by the Gordon Highlanders to this day. The town was the birthplace in 1824 of George MacDonald, best known for his fairy tales, such as At the Back of the North Wind. He died in 1905. Located just three miles out of town is the Artloch Fishery, built in 1976, making it the first rainbow trout fishery in Aberdeenshire. About five acres in size and stocked with brown and rainbow, it offers superb bank fly fishing in a peaceful country setting, with otters and osprey often competing for fish. Home to Sharps of Aberdeen, whose range of tackle is on display here. Rods are also available to hire. Also on site is a heated fishing hut, offering free tea and coffee, as well as barbecue facilities and disabled scooter. Lumsden is an upland village in the Rhiney Lumsden Gap, the natural passage through the hills from Strathbogie to Donside. It has a village green and was laid out by the local laird, Harry Leith Lumsden of Clover, in 1825. Clover was formerly a monastery founded by St Molloweg of Lismore. Indeed, this area and the nearby Carbrach Plateau was once an important religious centre. Based on the main street of Lumsden is the Scottish Sculpture Workshop, founded in 1979. It provides facilities for artists, with studios, a foundry, wood, metal and ceramics workshops. It offers technical and artistic support to artists in residence, and also courses, activities and projects.